In our previous lesson, we discussed the rule of various sultans under the Tughlaq dynasty. You must be remembering that Firuz Shah Tughlaq was the last prominent sultan under the Tughlaq dynasty. It is because after him, for 26 years, incompetent sultans made it to the throne, which is why they are not very important in our discussion. After the Tughlaq dynasty came to power under the Delhi Sultanate, the Said dynasty. The Said dynasty was the fourth great dynasty under the Delhi Sultanate. The Said dynasty spanned from 1414 to 1451. Now, who laid the foundation of the Said dynasty? It was Khizr Khan. Khizr Khan was formerly the governor of Multan during the rule of Firuz Shah Tughlaq. But after the death of Firuz Shah Tughlaq, certain incompetent sultans ascended the throne. It was only in the year 1414 that Khizr Khan now ascended the throne. And with ascending the throne, he now laid the foundation of the great Said dynasty. Khizr Khan did not assume any title after becoming the Sultan. This was a practice that we saw in the case of the previous dynasties under the Delhi Sultanate. But in this case, when Khizr Khan founded the Said dynasty, he did not assume any royal title. Khizr Khan was a very able administrator when he was formerly the governor of Multan during the rule of Firuz Shah Tughlaq. And he continued to be a very able administrator even after he became the Sultan of the Said dynasty. Along with this, people knew him as a very kind and generous Sultan. This was a Sultan who took into account the well-being of his subjects, which is why he was known as or which is why he was popular as a kind and generous and good-hearted Sultan. Now, let me tell you about an instance that will highlight the idea that Khizr Khan was a kind and generous Sultan. Before the rule of the Said dynasty, the power of the Delhi Sultanate was in the hands of the Tughlaq dynasty. So, Tughlaq dynasty was the third dynasty to rule under the Delhi Sultanate, following which came the Said dynasty. Now, when Khizr Khan became the Sultan of the Said dynasty, coins were still being minted with the names of the previous Tughlaq rulers. So, the names of previous Tughlaq rulers were still being engraved on coins that were being minted during the rule of Khizr Khan. Now, this must tell you how generous a Sultan Khizr Khan was because he had laid the foundation of an independent dynasty. If he wanted, he could have chosen to mint coins with his own name. But instead, he allowed to mint coins with the names of the sultans of the previous dynasty. This speaks for the kindness and generosity of Khizr Khan. Now, you will be surprised to know that the rule of this kind and generous sultan was marked by chaos and disorder. You must be wondering why it was so. Chaos and disorder spread throughout his dynasty. It was as if his dynasty was in a state of mayhem. Now to understand why the Said dynasty was so chaotic during the rule of Khizr Khan, we have to discuss the various things that were happening in his territories. Now, this brings us to a very important discussion on what was happening to the territory that was under the control of the Said dynasty. Previously, all these places were under the control of the Delhi Sultanate. Now, it was during the rule of Khizr Khan that Gujarat, Malwa and Jaunpur had declared their independence. These places mentioned that they are free from the Delhi Sultanate. Simultaneously with that, Khizr Khan also lost his control over Bengal, Khandesh and the entire 
Deccan region he was losing territories that is during the rule of Khizr Khan the Delhi Sultanate was shrinking in size simultaneously with that the Hindu rulers who were ruling in the Ganga Yamuna Doab had also refused to pay taxes to Khizr Khan or pay taxes to the Delhi Sultanate in this way the Delhi Sultanate was now shrinking in size previously it was this huge and it was during the rule of Khizr Khan that he lost control of all these places now this is a reason enough why Khizr Khan's rule was marked by chaos and disorder there was confusion throughout his dynasty because Khizr Khan was losing quite a lot of territories now Khizr Khan died in the year 1421 so he ruled from 1414 to 1421 Khizr Khan was the founder of the Said dynasty so he founded the Said dynasty in the year 1414 and he ruled till 1421 when he died after his death it was his son Mubarak Shah who now ascended the throne so it was Mubarak Shah who now became the Sultan of the Said dynasty under the Delhi Sultanate in the year 1421 let us now find out about the rule of this new Sultan Mubarak Shah can be considered as the ablest of all the Sultans who ruled under the Said dynasty he was a very powerful Sultan in fact during his rule from 1421 to 1434 Mubarak Shah also got Khutbah read on his own name now you must be wondering what this Khutbah was Khutbah was a special prayer or a sermon that was read on the name of the new Sultan in the Friday prayer in the mosque so when Mubarak Shah came to power as the Sultan of the Delhi Sultanate Khudba was read on his own name along with this he also issued his own coins now previously while we were discussing the rule of Khizr Khan we saw that during his rule coins were still being minted with the names of the previous Tughlaq rulers but it was during the rule of this able Sultan Mubarak Shah that coins were now being minted on his own name this is a noteworthy difference that we can see between the rule of Khizr Khan and his son Mubarak Shah we just discussed that Mubarak Shah was a very able Sultan now he ruled from 1421 to 1434 after the death of Mubarak Shah came to power his son Muhammad Shah Muhammad Shah ruled from 1434 to 1445 his rule was followed by the rule of his son that was Alauddin Alam Shah Alauddin Alam Shah ruled for a brief period he ruled from 1445 to 1451 now these are the two sultans who ascended the throne of the Said dynasty after the death of Mubarak Shah in 1434 just a while ago we saw the two sultans who succeeded Mubarak Shah now Muhammad Shah was an incompetent Sultan which is why we are not focusing on the rule of Muhammad Shah in this lesson Alauddin Alam Shah was the last Said Sultan this is because when Alauddin Alam Shah was ruling as the Sultan of the Said dynasty under the Delhi Sultanate his dynasty was rife with instability chaos and turbulence and political turmoils ensued nobles were fighting amongst themselves for power at the same time Alauddin Alam Shah was unable to bring everything under his control it was almost impossible for him to bring all his subjects under his control and so after a while when he was not able to keep his dynasty together he voluntarily left the charge now he left the charge as the Sultan of the Said dynasty and then he moved to Badaun so the rule of Alauddin Alam Shah was brief because of 
political instability and turmoil within the dynasty. And since he was unable to keep everything under his control, he voluntarily left the charge as a sultan and moved to Badaun. After Alauddin Alam Shah left the charge as the sultan of the Said dynasty, there was a major political vacuum. There was no great ruler as such who could take charge. And three years later, in 1451, it was Bahlul Lodi who took advantage of the situation. What did he do? In 1451, Bahlul Lodi ascended the throne of Delhi with which he started the Lodi dynasty. So after Alauddin Alam Shah left the throne and moved to Badaun, there was a political vacuum and this also marks an end of the Said dynasty. And in 1451 came to power the last and the final dynasty that ruled under the Delhi Sultanate. It was the Lodi dynasty and this Lodi dynasty was founded by Bahlul Lodi. This is a discussion that we will be coming to later in our next lesson. We just discussed how the Said dynasty came to an end. Now let me ask you a question so that this concept is very clear to you. Which Said Sultan voluntarily left the charge and went to Badaun? Was it Khizr Khan? Was it Mubarak Shah? Was it Alauddin Alam Shah? Or was it Muhammad Shah? Yes, you are right. It was Alauddin Alam Shah who was the last Sultan under the Said dynasty and he voluntarily gave up charge as a Sultan and moved to Badaun. This marks the end of the Said dynasty. That was the fourth dynasty to rule under the Delhi Sultanate. With this, we come to an end of our discussion on the Said dynasty that was the fourth dynasty to rule under the Delhi Sultanate. This dynasty ruled from 1414 to 1451. Now the sultans of this dynasty believed that they were descendants of Prophet Muhammad and from this came the name Said. After this name Said was named the dynasty Said dynasty. After the death of Firuz Shah Tughlaq who ruled under the Tughlaq dynasty for 26 years no able and competent sultan made it to the throne. During the rule of Firuz Shah Tughlaq Khizr Khan was the governor of Multan and it was in the year 1414 that Khizr Khan now ascended the throne as the Sultan of the Said dynasty. This marks the beginning of the fourth dynasty that was the Said dynasty and it was Khizr Khan who laid the foundation of this dynasty. Khizr Khan was an able administrator simultaneously with being a kind and generous Sultan. After his death, he was succeeded by his son Mubarak Shah. Mubarak Shah was the ablest sultan to rule under the Said dynasty. Mubarak Shah during his rule got Khudba dead on his own name. Along with that, he also issued coins that had his name. He was a very able sultan who ruled from 1421 to 1434. His rule was followed by that of his son, Muhammad Shah. Muhammad Shah ruled from 1434 to 1445. Now, Muhammad Shah has not been a very important Sultan under the Delhi Sultanate, which is why we did not focus on his rule in this discussion. The rule of Muhammad Shah was followed by that of his son, Alauddin Alam Shah. Alauddin Alam Shah was the last sultan to rule under the Said dynasty. This is because Alauddin Alam Shah was unable to hold his dynasty together. And for this reason, he had voluntarily left his charge as a sultan and moved to Badaun. He ruled from 1445 to 1451. After a brief political vacuum of three years, now came to power the Lodi dynasty. So the year 1451 marks the end of the Said dynasty simultaneously with establishing 
the beginning of the Lodi dynasty. This Lodi dynasty was the fifth and the last dynasty to rule under the Delhi Sultanate. And it was the Sultan Bahalul Lodi who founded this dynasty. It is this Lodi dynasty, its establishment, its rule, the various Sultans who ruled under this dynasty that we will be taking up in a subsequent lesson. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to all our 5000 plus amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubts resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and iPads. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it's rewarding too. So register for free now.